All right, I'm here with Matilda Castron. Great round today. Um, can you talk us through your route and starting with the early eagle on number three, I believe it was? Yeah, it was a pretty steady front nine uh, hold out on number number three uh, for an eagle. So that was really cool. Uh, hit a great wedge shot and it kind of spun back in the hole. So that was that was really nice way to kind of get the round started. And uh, yeah, I made a couple putts out there. Um, wasn't anything like crazy out there. Mm -hmm. uh, a few good par saves, uh, some good shots and some good putts out there. So uh, looking forward to improve a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, and headed into this tournament too, you would struggled a little bit in the past few tournaments. Was there anything about your game this week that you're really excited about? Uh, not really. I mean, I've been, well, I've been excited to play every week really, but yeah. um, my game has, feel, has felt really good the past few weeks and I feel like I've had some uh, good kind of like few hole stretches here and there and just waiting for it all to kind of come together so uh, it's really nice to be in the booth talking about the round afterwards that always means that you're doing something right so it hasn't been anything really specific that has clicked it's just um, yeah things coming together getting some good bounces and uh, good club selections on the holes and things like that awesome with the scoring conditions the way they are today and yesterday, do you feel like you have to come out and shoot a real low number tomorrow? Is there a real low number out there? Yeah, I mean, I saw there were some pretty low scores yesterday. So, um, of course, you're trying to be quite aggressive. The greens were, I think, a little bit softer today. And there's a lot of wedges into the, into the holes. So, uh, yeah, you're always trying to just play your best. And that's what I'm trying to do out here. Uh, it's just a matter of getting those right bounces and um, making those putts drop. A little different question. A couple of weeks you're going to Baldur's Roll for a $9 million purse. What does it say about the evolution of women's golf that uh, their major championships are going to venues like Baldur's Roll and Pebble Beach and whatever? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, I can't wait to play a ball to stroll. Uh, I'm still trying to qualify my way into the U.S. Open, um, but it's amazing where, where women's golf is heading, these bigger purses and these historic venues. I mean, I think I can speak for all the players that we're really excited and really proud to be at those big venues. Yeah, I mean, I think it kind of helped me relax a little bit. The past few weeks, I, I've been kind of battling on the cut line a lot of the rounds, and uh, it just kind of made me relax a little bit. I was five under after that hole, so I was like, okay, let's just keep it going instead of kind of being nervous and on the cut line the whole day, which has happened in the past few weeks, missing the cut by one and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a great kind of bonus early in the round. It doesn't happen very often that you hole out from 80 yards, so that was really nice. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Great job.